Hello, it's noon on Tuesday, the 13th of June. You're tuned into our midday newscast here on Adidone TV. Thank you, as always, for joining us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this afternoon, President Moon Jae-in has urged lawmakers to pass a multi-billion dollar supplementary budget proposal designed to create more jobs. In the nationally televised address that happened on Monday, the president warned that if the current unemployment rate and wealth gap worsens, Korea may face a disastrous economic crisis. Our Hwang Ho-Joon starts us off. The president's speech Monday was historic on the surface for a couple of reasons. One, it was the soonest any Korean president has ever given an administrative policy speech, coming just over a month since his inauguration. And in the history of the Republic of Korea, it was the first presidential address to parliament regarding a supplementary budget. President Moon stressed that his speech was not merely a show of willingness to talk with lawmakers, but an act of purpose. Using PowerPoint slides as visual aids, the president emphasized that the country's jobless rate came to 4.2 percent last month, while the unemployment rate for young people, aged between 15 and 29, reached 11.2 percent, the highest tally for April since 1999. He also addressed the widening income gap, causing unforeseen economic inequality. The president said the supplementary budget of about 10 billion U.S. dollars is not a panacea for the current situation, but a primer to resolving the situation. If approved by the Assembly, the additional budget will be allocated to different areas, including, but not limited to, creating up to 110,000 new jobs in both the public and private sectors, helping parents with some of the burden of childcare, especially women, supporting senior citizens when it comes to health and work, and reinforcing public safety. According to the presidential office of Chongwade, the additional budget can have a direct impact on people's lives, so the president did all he could to make his message clear. The president's policy speech can be boiled down to him spelling out the urgency of the situation, giving a thorough explanation and delivering a passionate plea. But it remains to be seen if that appeal will be enough to win over the National Assembly. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.